following products I'm about to use, I have used before. This is a warning. Hey guys, welcome back to my blog, and today I'm going to be doing something a little bit different. I'm going to be doing the kids makeup challenge because I saw it going around and I kind of like it, so let's do it. Actually get in character by using these. Oh yes, I'm a big kid now. I've got a bunch of makeup products over here, and I'm going to try to go through them and use them again a full face of makeup on but we're just gonna ignore that my old powder which is the icing 2a wet and dry foundation I'm just gonna use this as powder all over my face oh um. do you guys see that oh honey oh no Oh, this powder, honey, oh. Okay, so this actually does give quite nice coverage. So chalky and makes me look like I'm sickly. Not because it's too pale for me, it's just because it's just doing that to me. So the next thing that I'm going to try to do is that I kind of used it as concealer already. So I'm just going to bake my face with Claire's Translucent Shimmer Powder. Let's just swatch this right now. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh, goodness. Actually, before we do that, I'm going to be taking a Claire's Blush Brush. This is for blush. It's so huge. But I'm just going to be... I'm just going to powder up my face the foundation that I had already put on before um, when it was damp then I'm going to bake my face with the translucent powder and this is shimmery and chalky and great I also picked up these two um, um, these two beauty blenders um, and I'm just gonna be dipping one into the O. Oh. This is not pleasant. I'm just gonna bake my face. Don't worry about a thing, baby girl. It's gonna be alright. Now that I have regretted all of the decisions that I've made so far, I'm gonna move on to. Ooh, move on to Claire's eyeshadow Claire's eyeshadow brush now this does not feel good it doesn't feel good on the skin and do you see these colors first of all they're so chalky and they barely have any pigment to them I think I'm just gonna go in with one of these little sponge applicators that it comes with and I think I'm going to start out using a transition color. Peach color. Okay. I see you. I see you there. And then I'm just going to go in um, with that a lighter version of that color and do that on my lid. Man, the sponge applicators are killing it. Oh, I'm going to... I don't even know if I want to use this brush yet. I think I'm just going to go into... Um, a, a pinky color. And I'm just going to put that all in my um, crease. I don't even know if you guys can see this because it's so unpigmented but you know then I'm actually gonna go into this nice pretty highlight color over here and using the actual bro oh. and then I'm gonna actually highlight my brow bone there's nothing going on with this eyeshadow 
The brush is actually hurting my face. And the eyeshadow is literally sticky. That looks like dandruff. That is disgusting. So, now I'm just gonna use the huge blush brush to just wipe away all of the tears and the sadness. I did want to get lashes, but I didn't want to also like kill myself. This is a very lethal challenge. Also, do you see that? I couldn't wipe all of that off. It's just so white. I'm white. The last thing I'm going to be doing is taking Justice's I Love to Shop Strawberry Flavored Lip Gloss. Lip Gloss. We're almost 10 years old. But I'm going to use it. I'm going to do it. I'm gonna, it's strawberry lip gloss. What's, ooh, ooh. That is chunky. My face feels tight. My lips feel gloopy. My whole face is just, you know what, let's just do, let's just do the outro. I'm gonna go wash my face and take this all off because I feel disgusting and this was a bad idea. Don't try this at home. If you do, try with caution. You. But I mean, do what you want. I'll see you guys in the next video. I love you guys so much.